morning gentlemen and viewers at home my name is Shala Bello and you're watching the end report where the truth is best served hardly ever sweet but the naked truth nonetheless today's issue is the vexing matter of our nation's power supply or shall we say the apparent lack of it stay tuned as we're joined in the studio by our three council elders and the honorable minister for power to throw some light on our darkness don't go Hey. This Nepal go? Get away, Alaji. What do you know about Nepal? Good morning again, and you're welcome back after our brief stint with a loss of power. We have been joined by our Honorable Minister for Power, Dr. Babalola. Welcome, sir. Good morning, Chala. Good morning. Straight to the point, sir. Where is the power? First and foremost, um, I would like to thank you for the opportunity you've to have me on your show. Please answer the question, sir. Team. Okay, okay. Let me say, I'm happy that in keeping with the president's seven point agenda and vision 2020, it is a great privilege to save the Nigerian populace okay. by providing electricity to a point where supply meets demand. Blah, blah, blah. You people think Nigerians are foolish, eh? Since the time of Goma, from ECN to NEPA, from NEPA now to PHCN, as if we're changing the name equates to providing the power. Ah. Also, changing the name is now significant though. They are now named appropriately as uh, the Power Holding Company of Nigeria. They hold all the power pata pata and see, oh. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I can assure you the Nigerian public that a lot is being done behind the scenes to make sure that our mandate is achieved. Well, what is it behind the scenes for? We the people of Nigeria want to be able to see the work. We want power. That is all. All this talk of behind the scene is foolishness. Sirs, I think we should allow the minister tell us what the PHCN has managed to achieve in the last four years this since the change of is name in 2005. That is uh, apart from holding the power. We've introduced a new metal system where people control their own electricity. But does that equate to having power? I have the new meter, but even if I put 100,000 naira, on the meter card, if there is no power, is it not money wasted, Abi? Igbam. Gentlemen, Igbam. gentlemen, I think you've judged the situation incorrectly. A lot of money has been pumped into the power generation in the last two years. Eh? Where? Yes, Honorable. Please tell us where the money has been spent. Um, um, the rebuilding of the dam. That one. Yeah, that one. Look, Ebe. the government has pumped in over two billion in projects in the power sector alone. And uh, what did you do with it? Supply power. Do you yeah. know how much it costs to run the generators that even uh, power the street lights? Oh. Uh, I was waiting for you to talk through now. Power supply, Abi. Okwaya. Uh, Generating set. Inwaya. Uh, yes. yes. and petrol. Everybody eh? in Nigeria. Let's be honest with so, ourselves. So, inwaya generator, not so. Uh, yes, everybody in Nigeria. Let's be honest with ourselves. Everyone at least has one small generator. Make sure, no. My friend. All of us here are educated men. And we understand the English, even if it is not our mother's tongue. Well, lie, honorable minister. You are a liar, fa. It is an unfair I will spell. slice you. It is an Musa unfair spell. Yes, so I will kill you. PHN is working. PHN is working. I will kill you. PHN is working. I will kill you. 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 I will kill you.